Hey there, my fellow YouTubers. It's Cassandra 2. Mm, that is not my name. This is Cassandra 72 coming to you with um, a video. And I just got off the phone with Miss Sassy. Well, not just got off the phone, but a little while ago. And she, among other people, are asking about... Um, you're asking about how to print from... Um, the iPhone and I'm assuming maybe iPad and so I'm coming to you with a little t tutorial video I guess um so if I'm telling you you know what I'm saying this isn't the best setup for my printer so if y'all talk about me I get a bunch of thumbs down I'm not doing not now another tutorial you hear me yeah I just got that ghetto not now another tutorial okay no the printer need to be dusted off no, it maybe needs to be sitting on the computer desk all there, but it ain't it, the setup ain't pretty. But I'm trying to come to you with some knowledge. So, anyway, um, you're probably not really going to be able to see that that well, but I'm going to try here. I, anyway, I have Target.com. Okay, that's a little bit better. I have Target.com pulled up on my daughter's phone. Here we go. All right, and so I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and click on coupons. Okay, now I've already, I have an HP printer, um, and that is set up, you know, that's already set up wirelessly or what have you. So, you know, that part I'm sure you all probably know how to do, follow the instructions to set your printer up wirelessly, wirelessly. so that needs to be done. But um, I'm just going to, you know, come here and just randomly select any coupon. All right, so you see that says select to print. Okay, and then just like on the website, you want to print your selected coupons. All right, now, hopefully this will come up the way that I'm thinking it's supposed to come up. Because I actually did not test this beforehand. Okay, so actually this isn't going to work from Target.com. It's not going to work from that. You have to download. Looks like download an application that's not going to allow you to print from that. So, all right. So what we just learned is I'm not going to reprint this. You're not going to be able to print um, from something like Target.com that needs you to um, be able to, I guess, download that Catalina, that Catalina printer application. That's not going to work. Okay. So, sorry about that. However, if you're in any web page, basically, um, on Safari, because I have Safari open. Okay, so we'll just close out of that and then get back into it. So, you see, we'll open up Safari. All right, so you see where we were at comes back up. Now, you see this little icon down here at the bottom that looks like, I say it looks like an envelope, you know, with the arrow going out or what have you. Um, you're going to click on that. All right, now see, you see the options come up, mail, message, Twitter, Facebook. You know, you can add it to your home screen, and that's pretty much probably where most people stop at. But you see that print icon? From anything else, generally, you're gonna want that you want to print from your iPhone, you're going to select print there. All right, now if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to ask you to select the printer. All right, so I select the printer. It comes up with my printer. Okay, so we're going to select that. Now it asks me how many copies I want. I could I could change the number of copies I want of it. We're only going to do one, but that's just to show you that. All right, if I want to do double-sided, I could do that. All right, so then click print. All right, so then it tells you it's printing and it's sending it to the printer. So what was on that, what was on my screen, which was that page telling me that, you know, basically how I need to set up that's going to print up. That's going to be printing out now. So you see it? All right. So it is printing. All right. So that's how you want to print generally anything else that you might want to print to your computer from your phone. Okay? Now. All right. And we'll just give that a second there to print up. All right. And as you can see, it printed out what you saw 
on the phone. All right, now I also I generally have really just been printing for coupons.com. So there's a coupons.com app that I've downloaded to the phone, and we'll just click on that and allow that to load up. All right, now um, and I don't really care about any of these coupons, so I'm just going to click the first one we see. If you're inside of the app, you click on clip. Okay. All right. Now. Once you have clipped a coupon, you um, now see, first of all, there's one. It tells you how many you clipped. If I clipped another one, you see it goes up. Okay, so I'm just going to unclip that, though, because I only want to do one. Oh, well, we can leave it at two. All right, we'll leave it at two. So you see two coupons are printing. going to print. All right, then you want to hit View Clipped. Okay, there is your um, coupons that are going to print. Now at the bottom you see you can print them or email them. If you want to go ahead and print them, print. It's going to search for the printers. It's going to ask you what printers it finds. Again, these are, should have already been wirelessly set up on your network. You hit print. I'm sorry. You have to select it. See, it gets checked off there. And hit print. And then it will print. Now, I do not think that you have to select that each time. Um, I don't recall doing that, but then you'll see a nice little print dialog there. If you cancel, your coupons will not print. It tells you that it's printing. You hear the printer has started. Okay, now it's going back to the main screen. And you see the lovely coupons there that we selected from the main screen. So, that is how you print from... Um, that's how you print from the uh, your iPhone. And like I said, I would think that the iPad would be similar. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. And as always, until the next video, I wish you peace and blessings.